Hi guys, it's Char. Welcome back to my channel, Crafting Up a Storm. Today I have some really great succulent planter ideas. They range from just taking a planter and giving it a little pizzazz to uh, a medium project where we're gonna redo a few more things to make our planner to using some items you wouldn't normally think of. Um, and recreating them into a very unique succulent planter. So hopefully you're inspired by one of these projects today to make something for your home or office. Let's get crafting. For this first planter, I'm going to paint a clay pot with some, first with some white acrylic paint. And then I'm going to use some washi tape and make some stripes to go up my pot. I'm using one piece of washi tape in between to um, measure so all of my stripes are basically even. Because the pot is you know, wider at the top than it is at the bottom, my stripes are not going to be straight up and down. However, that's okay. I'm just trying to make sure I set uh, the tape as even as possible and I do have a little difficulty making sure that it is really tight around the lip. So I did have a little bleed through. But what I do um, with a lot of projects is I'll go through and repaint over the top of the tape with the same color that's underneath. This is going to help um, that bleed through from coming, from coming out. Now I'm gonna go back over it with the black um, so that I can have my black stripes. And I'm using Waverly chalk paint. And you can see those stripes come out pretty crisp. And use whatever colors you like. It's just so easy to paint um, this little planter however you want, decorate it. I'm gonna add some, um, some dots in with my Crafter Square metallic white marker. You can use the washi tape and make some color blocking. You can make a rainbow. You can use whatever colors match your decor or theme that you're going for. I guess I was in a bit of a Tim Burton theme because this looks a little Halloween-ish to me, but um, it's fun. It's easy to decorate. There's not um, any um, art skill, just paint and um, use your tape to, to add a design. Very simple. For the next planner, we're gonna take it up a notch and I'm gonna use this wire basket um, from Dollar Tree and the house um, frame. I only need a part of this basket, so I'm going to tape off about how wide I think I need it. And I want to cut this basket in a straight line so that it's straight. The edge of the basket um, bends out a bit so I want to cut a straight line. I'm using my wire cutters and I'm just kind of going round and round just holding it tight and wiggling the basket round and round. Once I have a pretty good cut in that thick wire now I can take some other um, needle nose pliers and just kind of wiggle that wire back and forth and it breaks pretty easy. It's not too difficult. The smaller wires 
um, in the basket are easy to clip with some snips or heavy duty scissors. It's just those bigger wires that are a little more difficult. So I do that wiggle and bend technique with all of those. Once I have the corner of the basket free, I want to put some blocks inside the basket to help me adhere it to our house. And so I put a tumbling tower block along one edge and, um, and now I'm putting it along the, the other edge. I'm using a pretty good amount of hot glue. I even go back over the top of it with some more hot glue. And I do um, press that down really good with some clamps to let that adhere really well through that wire mesh. Here's the one that I already put on the other side. <laughs> I'm gonna show that to you too. And the bottom, I do also put one along the bottom. That way I have three good pieces to help adhere this basket to the house. I hold it in place and let that adhere and add some extra glue over the top. Now I'm gonna paint the house frame. I just flipped it over and took the sawtooth off the back and I'm gonna paint the back of it um, with Waverly chalk paint in um, plaster. I wasn't worried about complete full coverage over all of it simply because I'm going to put that plant in the front. Now I'm going to distress it and I'm using some Waverly chalk paint in Elephant and just adding some distressing over the top. I am going to add this distressing and then I'm going to go back and kind of rub it a bit to blend it so it's not so stark. Uh, lines across that white plaster but I'm just adding it in here and there now I'm taking that um, damp wipey and just kind of smudging it just to make sure that those lines are not um, stark and it kind of colors the back of it a little bit as well too. Now I'm going around the edge with some of that um, elephant paint to add a little extra around the edge and, and highlight those. The edge in the corner I go heavy in. I also go around the inside of the heart that brings that heart out at the top. Now it's time to glue the basket down. Now I have these three blocks um, adhered to be able to glue down to the house. I'm going to try and hold those blocks in place as well as I can to let them adhere. Then I go back around the edge and any space that I can fill in, I'll fill in with some hot glue just to make sure that that basket stays adhered to the house. Now it's time to add our succulents. So I'm going to um, put some moss in first. Oh, also I did paint those little blocks as well too. I painted them white to help them blend a little bit better. I'm gonna add some moss to the bottom of the basket and then I'm gonna put some of the floral styrofoam in, but I think I'm gonna, I cover it with moss first 
just so that I can make sure it's good and concealed. I just put some glue across it and smudged it and um, stuck it in some of the moss bits that's left over just to try and cover it as well as I can. I added extra glue, I added extra moss just to make sure I got it covered well. It was a bit of a mess, I will say, but I got that um, styrofoam completely covered. I don't need to worry about the back of it. And um, because this only sits on one side, I just worried about covering that side. I added a second piece in the side with the same process and um, some foam, um, moss on top. And now I'm adding in my succulent plants. Some of them I cut a little bit to um, fit down well. I put some hot glue and stuck the succulent in. And here I'm using another um, floral from Dollar Tree and just adding in here and there. And all of these succulents are from Dollar Tree as well too. Some of them are clips and some of them are the succulent pieces. And that's how this one turned out. You can hang it, you can put a magnet on it and put it on a refrigerator or a, a, a file cabinet, however you wanna utilize it um, or stand it up. For this last project, I'm using a salt and pepper shaker that I have left over from a project. They come in a pack of two. I'm using this small frame, some chicken wire, and some tumbling tower blocks and some moss. First thing I do is cut the chicken off the top of the sign and sand down any little spiky bits. I'm going to paint my salt and pepper shaker um, white first. And I'm going to add a base to my salt and pepper shaker. So I'm taking these four ta tumbling tower blocks and I'm going to make a square. So I'm going to glue two pieces together and then add the other two pieces to make a perfect square. And then that's gonna go around the bottom of my salt and pepper shaker. So I'm gonna add a little glue to the inside and stick that right on in there and that's my base. And now that's gonna be painted white as well. I'm adding some twine to the top of my salt and pepper shaker to cover the the top edges. I've taken a uh, piece of chicken wire that I have cut about five circles wide and I've bent it in half. Um, it was a really difficult to show a lot of what I did with this, but I bent it in half and so I had these wires sticking up where I cut it. I bent those down along the edge just so that they weren't sticking up. On the other side, it's kind of hard to tell, but I had a piece sticking up. It wasn't cut, but that's where I bent it. And so I just turned those loops down so that they didn't stick up. <clears throat> I will say I didn't really have to fiddle with both edges of this. Um, once I had the planter made, I realized it covered up one edge. So um, just however you can get it to, to not be a sharp edge will work. Now I'm going to take some of the Waverly Wax and I am going to distress or antique the side of my planter. I didn't worry about painting um, the picture um, at the top. I'm going to cover up the picture at the bottom of it, uh, the red and yellow, and the sides were already white, so I just utilized the 
the sides. Otherwise, I would paint the whole thing white as well, too. I go a little heavier with the sides and um, distress and just keep rubbing until I have it where I want it. Highlight those ridges and bring them out. Now this part, I will say you can skip um, if you want to. I took some craft sticks, distressed them as well, painted and distressed them, and I put the chicken wire down around my um, small frame and added the craft stick to the top of it. I added a succulent. This one I found at Big Lots. It was probably three or four dollars, but it was a, a very large succulent and that way it sat very well into the top of my planter. But I wasn't quite done. I didn't really like the way the sides turned out. So I ended up going back and covering where I put those craft sticks with twine. If you're gonna do that, you really don't need the craft sticks down. Um, you will cover up the bottom of the wire just fine with twine. So um, you can skip that part. You can see I put a little styrofoam, a thin piece down into the side of the frame and then covered it with moss and glued that for my succulent. And then I put my succulent back in it and I like the way it turned out. Let me know what you think and which one is your favorite. If you enjoyed these ideas, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and subscribing to my channel. That way you can be notified of more crafty videos. Thank you and have a great day. And as always, keep crafting.